What's up Mopar fam? We are, as you can see, at the drag strip finally, and we're gonna run Frostbite and test out the new cam. And most of all, we're gonna get some data. Right now, we're only on the fourth revision tune, and we don't have a lot of timing in this tune yet, and we're still dialing in the AFR. So I don't even know if I'll be able to make a full pass without us having to readjust some things, so we'll see. On the street, it did okay, um, but the track is always different. Your your AFR on the street and the track will usually be pretty far off, give or take, because of traction and just being able to actually let the truck completely loose on the track. So we're gonna get off the trailer, we're gonna go tech in, get started, um, but I don't know what we're gonna do for time. Right now, the DA is about 1200 and it's about 60 degrees out here. So it's not the best DA, but it's not terrible. So we're gonna see what it does. Let's give, give it hell. What the heck, bro? We got teched in, we're about to adjust the air pressure. We're gonna start out at about 20 PSI. Uh, usually I do pretty good about around 18 to 20 PSI on the Mickey Thompson ET Street Rs. So like I said, we're gonna try them at 20 and go from there.
What's up guys? All right, unfortunately, we did not get to make another pass due to one, my laptop died and I can't put in another tune. And two, right when I was looking at my data, they already shut the track down already. So they're not letting anybody else in the staging lanes. But anyway, I can't write another tune because I don't have my cord to plug in the laptop and it's dead. So I got screwed on that part. I have to remember to bring my cord next time. But I'm gonna try to come tomorrow. They're running again tomorrow night and I'm gonna try to get here tomorrow. I do have some stuff that I gotta get done. But I'm gonna try to get up here tomorrow and hopefully get uh, look at look at this data and get some new tunes written. Uh, get a new tune in the truck. But I'm happy. I'm happy with what we got first out of the gate on this camshaft and on the tuning uh, on the stuff that's been changed on the truck recently. So like I said, this is the first pass the truck's done since we've changed to everything basically, and it did okay. We ran 11.8. 85 at 104.81 and again we had a 16 60 foot and the tune that's in the truck right now we, we have 10 degrees of timing uh, initially kind of off the hit and then we are blending in about 11 degrees through the rest of the band a half decent pass down the track to get some data to look at um, I just haven't had time to really get good data on the street and the track's the best time to get it so i tried to do what i could do to get as much data as possible so we can try to put a much better tune in the truck this go around and i think i got it i got some good video of the afr gauge i got obviously the hp tuners logged everything on the run that happened and uh yeah all i can say is i think we're gonna get faster from here um you know last year we ended last season with an 11.6 on um, the J Green tune at that point and the 0.5 high lift cam I was running then. Um, we ran 11.6 and this pass, first pass out, I just ran 11.8. Obviously, we don't have a lot of timing in the vehicle, so that will change. You know, we'll probably, once we get everything blended in good, granted, you know, we got stock pistons still, so we're gonna try to take it easy on it, but you know, I'd like to see maybe 12 degrees of timing in it, maybe 12 and a half. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, with some race fuel, a little more timing, better, uh, you know, some better tuning in it. We'll see what happens. But this stuff takes time. So we're not far off. We just need some good weather and get the tune dialed in. And I think we are going to make um, definitely more power, you know, I'm suspecting that on the cam, we're gonna gain you know, probably another tenth, maybe another two tenths um, once we get it dialed in. So, you know, my, my goal before the transmission swap, if we have the time to do it, I would like to run, I'd like to see 11.5. I don't know if we'll get it before we change everything, but that's kind of my goal is I'd like to see an 11.5 on this transmission. Um, I think that's more than possible, but we'll see. Uh, time's limited, and we're going to try to get the transmission installed hopefully next month um, or by the end of this month. So I don't know how. We'll see how many times I can get to the track before then, but my goal is on 11.5. So we just got to get the tune right. We got to get, you know, we got to at least keep this kind of weather. Right now, at that time, um, when we got here today, the DA was about 1,200. And Granted, we sat for about an hour before we could run. There's so many people here. And by the time I got to run, the DA had dropped down to about 750. And that's not bad. We had 30% humidity. Um, so that's not terrible for Georgia either. So if we can keep this DA and get the tune right and everything falls into place, I think we can do an 11.5, 11.4 um, easily. So we'll see you guys. But as always, stay safe out there. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.